So the sample that we're using in this video comes from right here, it's called Moments, and the link will be in the description box, and it will look like this right here. This is the Donald Sample Pack, shout out to Ocean View. And we're checking out Grain Dad, which is an affiliate link that's in the description box, full disclosure. Sugarbyte sent this to me. This Grain Dad effect is a granular effect. Why well, I say Grain Dad effect, but yeah. Anyways, the most important thing, this. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. So Grain Dad has a whole bunch going for it. Uh, where I wanna start is right here where you set up the buffers. So you can see the audio effect is it's being recorded in here. You have things like transient detector, which is on auto right now, but if I was to select this transient right here, you can see the flags coming up. But then that doesn't bring anything into the effect itself. Uh, what it will do is you, ha you have the ability to go into attack and change the buffer size, change the recording triggers. You can do it via your MIDI or through a clock and you can change the clock triggers as you want. Uh, you can also record them as well as it's being recorded. And that's where I want to bring you right here into the harvester. So this harvester allows you to affect stuff as well. You can record things in here, change this. And then you'll start to hear the effects. If I go to mode, grain size, I can shift it around. I can change the speed, which is not allowing me to do right. Oh, there we go. You can even randomize it as well, which is gonna yield some very interesting stuff. And then after you're done, you can turn off recording and you can start to see the magic happen. Let's go back in the main. You have a mod matrix here, you can mix it between the harvester. You can even randomize it. This is that crazy sugar bite stuff we always like. You can switch between different modulation sources, which are right around in here. You have LFOs. Let's go ahead and make it trigger through sequence. You have the trigger sequence right here, and you can randomize that as well. You can change the buffer of that. You can change it to clock. And then you start to hear the effect. Speaking of the effect, it seems like it's only 50%. So when we go over here to the dry wet, we can change that as well. And have it go through a different buffer size. Let's do quarter. So these are time signatures that you can pick out. And you can do the effect level, change that. And everything is recordable. Let's go ahead and bring in some hi-hats. Some claps. So you can hear that it is musical. And let's go ahead and drop an 808. So you can see it, it has a lot going for it just off me just playing with the UI in itself. Uh, not very confusing. It was confusing for me at first. And one thing I will say as a side note, it is pretty CPU intensive. So you might want to make sure that you have the processing power that you need for making music. I mean, a gaming laptop, I mean, hello. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do here is go through some of the presets so that you guys can get an overall feel for what it is.
So what I want to do is switch gears. I don't want to necessarily make this a whole trap beat thing. I don't know. Let's go ahead and do some drum and bass. So this next sample is called Hook. And it's from right there. It is from this pack called Invoke, which will be linked in the description box, as you know. And uh, yeah, let's get it. So DMB, let's go. Yeah, I know my DMB is fire. Yeah, yeah. So this is the drum break that we're gonna work on. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit so you can hear me. And let's go ahead and get some instant gratification and make sure that grain dad is on. And what we're gonna do is affect everything the same way that we did before. Let's go ahead and run the random on density. Let's go ahead and run random and bring the amount up right here. Let's go ahead and do bipolar. So it's just flipping left and right. Let's mess with the grain size. Let's go to the trigger sequencer. Uh-huh. Let's go to the harvester and uh, mess with some stuff. As a matter of fact, we can go back and just randomize and randomize the sign. Get out of that. Turn it off. And one thing I want to point out is that you do have a undo and a redo. So you don't like anything, you just undo it. And then you can redo it too as well. Let's go back to trigger sequence. Let's go to modulation sequence. Let's go over here and do a trigger sequence on the LFO and assign that to pitch. Now, let's go over here and mess with the mod mix. Let's turn it on, go to the harvester. And that way, when we do the harvester, and mess with certain effects. Let's go ahead and record some stuff in here. Yeah, it can get crazy. And you can just random them all. That's the beauty of any, and I mean any, sugar bites effects. They're like the kings of this shit. Let's go ahead and bring the melody back in. Let's give it a little bit more volume. For kicks and giggles, let's go ahead and just drop a bass line and then see what we can do with that. I'm gonna take it back with Cyclops, which is the first plugin that I tried from Sugar Bites. Let's go. Despite the silly name, I do think that Grain Dad is the grandfather of all granular effects. <sighs> that, was, that, that just didn't even sound right. 